incredibly inspiring stuff right there. Please welcome to the show director, producer, and star of that film, former NFL wide receiver Kyle Prater. Oh, Kyle Prater. Look at him. Man, I appreciate you coming on. Man, Thank you for Thank you. making the way from Chicago here to New York. Look at him. Down with us. And as you said, football is in your DNA. Yep. And you were with the Saints at training camp 2015, 2016. Stand out in college. Stand Look out at in him. high school. He's coming. Here we go. Here we go. you to get into chasing greatness productions after injuries derailed your athletic career. Well, you know, the ah, whole like a cow! behind the film was so basically that. Ah, like a cow! And I see you. you ah, you like a cow! What's going on, everybody? And a lot of people look everybody, at everybody logging in. in. Judge, you want to say hi real quick? You know, when I got say, release, say hello real you know, quick. Could have either went home and you know, oh. and, you know so say hi everybody. Uh -huh. Hello, hi everybody. My dad was like calling me, so I'm like, ah, it sounds like JoJo. I'm going in the office. Okay. Cool. All right, you can go play basketball. I'm gonna pick up sometimes, okay? Okay. Get ready for that. <laughs> yeah, he already camera ready. Yeah, I know he's, like. he's ready. He's ready to go on the camera. All right, what's cracking, everybody? Everybody logging on from Facebook live stream. What is cracking, lacking? Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, we're not at a bar. We're not at a restaurant. We're here in the office grinding it out because you just never know what happens. What's going on, everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Zipali here with K2P21, 21. 21. Kyle Prater, and uh, Lorenzo Salas here. So we got, uh, we got some things that we've, we've been doing. Uh, if you guys didn't know already, helping us with our vlogs through, uh, through uh, the last 25 episodes uh, was Lorenzo Salas. He's helped out with, the, with our vlog in the last, what, five, six episodes. Mm -hmm. You've came along because you met me at a networking event. Exactly. Because you just never know. You never know. You never know what happens. So, uh, Kyle, man, real quick before we get into it, man, what's it like for you to be on the NFL Network talking about shifting gears with your documentary? Oh, well, it's a blessing, first and foremost. And uh, I, I wouldn't have been able to get it done without this man next to me, Lorenzo. No. So he was uh, the main producer, creative director, and uh, I just went out there and basically just told my story. And I uh, was able to have an opportunity to go on NFL Network, as, as you can see right here, to basically uh, be on the biggest platform and talk about my story about shifting gears and transitioning from playing to currently now being a filmmaker, director, producer, um, and to just, you know, putting that behind film. So it's a blessing, man. It's great. And I was able to meet a guy like you and become a, have a great relationship. So now we're just all shifting gears and going in the right direction. That's it, man. So some of you guys right now say, so you know what, man, I really want something to change my life. I want something to, you know, to, to, to come my way. I've been praying for it, I've been hoping for it. But, bro, you just went sitting at home um, hoping that an opportunity would come your way. Right. I mean, the reason why I met Kyle Prater is because he was at a networking event that I was uh, interviewing Damon John, one of the sharks on Shark Tank, for our vlog, Leaving My Spark, where Lorenzo was at. And uh, next thing you know, we're having a conversation now about production yeah. and video. Mm -hmm. So uh, what would you say to somebody out there right now who says, you know what, I'm waiting for an opportunity, but they're sitting on the butt. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times, that's what a lot of people do. They expect to just wake up and it just fall in their lap. Um, I think for me, it was, you know, I got released, okay, you know, my second year in the NFL, and I got injured, put on IR, got released, and then bam, you know, could have just went home and just, you know, let the situation yeah. uh, take me over and just pout and, and be stuck in that situation. But, you know, I got know, for one, I had a degree from Northwestern. I'm a very smart individual, so I said, I want to do something that give me that same excitement and passion yep. that I did playing football, and that was being behind the camera and directing and creating films. And uh, I bumped into you at a networking event and just put myself out there. You know, I'm, I'm the type of guy, you're the same type of guy that's just, shake, you shake somebody's hand, you never know what type of uh, opportunity can come out of that. And uh, fast forward to now, you know, a couple vlogs in, a couple yeah. of networks in. You know, it's been a lot of amazing things have happened and transpired in the past year. So. so if you haven't watched it already, make sure you watch Kyle's documentary on his life transitioning and shifting gears from uh, professional football, playing for the Saints, yep. uh, playing for the Saints, you see his hat, and now uh, shifting gears. Make sure you watch his documentary. It's on, it's on YouTube, right? It's on YouTube. It's on Vimeo. Uh, just type in shifting gears and uh, it should pop up. Uh, shifting gears. So um, it was a pretty, pretty interesting conversation because uh, I remember coming down from this interview. There's a lot of people at this networking event. It was a business and beer. It was a business and beer networking event uh, um, moderated by Miller Coors. And I remember Kyle coming up to me. This, yep. this big dude. By we're, we're sitting down right now, but Kyle's what six five? What, six, six five two thirty. Six five two thirty. Big dude, man. And and very rarely do I have to look up at somebody being six three six four. I'm looking up at him. He says, "Man, I'm I'm." Uh, I'm Kyle, and uh, I'm an NFL wide receiver, and I'm an entrepreneur, and I'd like to meet you. It seems like you got a lot of great energy. Yeah, exactly what I said. Yeah, right? No, I just saw it. I mean, it's just some people you just, uh, 
And I got the type of energy that gravitates to people that got the same energy. And it's just, I was like, man, I got to meet this guy, you know. Plus, I saw the camera, then I was like, well, that's an icebreaker right there. <laughs> and uh, let me just, uh, you know, give my card, and uh, hopefully uh, you never know what comes out of it. So, uh, and that's what happened. And now we're here. That's it. Yeah. And, you know, also backdrop to it with Lorenzo, you know, uh, when, I, when I was still an um, independent agent, I was doing uh, college planning workshops to help students properly plan for college, for life after college without draining so much student loan debt. And uh, Lorenzo was there with his camera re ready and willing to help. And, bro, that was, what, seven years ago? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was, uh, yeah, I think maybe even eight years ago. Eight years ago. Eight years ago. Yeah, that yeah. was at uh, UIC. Yep. Cool, yep. man. And so, you know, you've been always ready every always. time I've called you. Yeah, you know? even on Super Bowl Sunday. Even on Super Bowl Sunday, we're here <laughs> grinding it out. Yeah. So, um, Kyle, I'm intrigued. I mean, being a, the, an All-American high school football player, mm -hmm. um, you, who are you being recruited by? Who weren't you, were you being recruited by? Yeah, that's probably a great question. Who was it? But uh, I was Coach Carroll, Pete Carroll. Uh, so Coach Carroll was recruiting you? Coach Carroll came to my house. So my we, we, have, we have the peanut gallery here. Say, say hi, everybody. Say hi, JoJo. Hello. All right. <laughs> Yeah, All so right. it was pretty much everybody. Uh, it's an interesting time. Watch out, watch out, Joe. Yeah. So, so, so Coach Pete Carroll, yeah. the coach of the Seattle Seahawks, mm -hmm. when he was at USC, came to your house. Came to my house. My mom made some pizza. I remember that. <laughs> she and made some pizza. Yeah, the Giorno's? Was, uh, yeah. Pete nice Carroll. Yeah. <laughs> the Giorno's. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Pete Carroll came and Ty McNair, the running back coach, and uh, Ken Norton. Who's Ken, Ken, who? Norton, Ken Kenny Norton. He, he was a uh, USC was the linebacker coach there. No so kidding. The whole staff, man, it was pretty much uh, my receiver coach who was at USC was my receiver coach in the NFL as well in New Orleans. Uh, coach uh, Johnny Morton, so no kept kidding. that relationship. So that's funny how you never know who you're gonna meet down the road. Yeah. And uh, I was able to play for my old receiver coach in the NFL. In, well. in the NFL, so mm -hmm. he was your uh, wide receiver coach in college. My, my freshman year, and then he went off to the league. <clears throat> The, the NFL. A couple of years later, after being in college, he was in New Orleans too, as well. So, wow, you never know. It's not about what you know, it's who you know. That's it, man. That's it. Well, for those of you tuning in right now, by the way, there's there's a, a bunch of guys uh, jumping on board and saying hi to my son JoJo. Cool. Well, listen, guys, I want I want to share you a quick story. You know, um, uh, my my son my son went to high school at uh, Lyons Township, and uh, Lyons Township High School, and uh, and this kid was messing around. He played for the tennis team. And he was messing around, and during a pep rally, he was booting a couple field goals in front of the whole high school, just messing around, kicking it, and they see a thump, right? Backed up, thump. And it caught the attention of the football coaches that he was thumping field goals, even though he was a tennis player. And he told the kid, and I said, listen, you need to try out for the football team. And the kid says, no, man, I'm, I'm a tennis player. I'm not a football player. I'm not a kicker. And make a long story short, that was his freshman year. Junior year, he goes back, puts a bug in his ear, come after ta uh, uh, tennis practice, you go kick a couple, uh, kick a couple balls. So kid kicking a couple balls, thumping it, thumping it, thumping it. Comes on a varsity team at LT. They go into uh, the championship. I think it was against OPRF in boots. I think a forty-five or fifty-one yard field goal in high school. How many kickers can do that in high school? Forty-five yards, fifty-one yards. I heard too many of those. Wow. Not too many of those. So this kid, make a long story short, gets a gets a scholarship. The only scholarship. No, nobody's you know. Uh, coming to, nobody's recruiting him like you, mm -hmm. um, and, and he just kept himself ready. Went to a couple camps, goes up to a camp in Wisconsin, gets some notoriety, gets some, some visibility, and, uh, 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 and gets attention of Memphis. Memphis was the only D1 FBS college to offer him a scholarship, and he goes to Memphis, plays there, becomes one of the country's top kickers, gets drafted by the Cincinnati Bengals. Do kickers get drafted by the... Rarely. 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 I mean, they got to be really good. Then. Yeah. So this kid gets drafted, goes out with LT, goes to Memphis, gets drafted by the Cincinnati Bengals, and in training camp, they decide to stick with their veteran. Cut this, they cut this kid. So they drafted him in the fifth round. They cut him, puts, puts him on the practice squad. What happens when guys are in practice squad? Can they be approached by any other team? You can. They can. It, it, uh, it all depends on the team's needs. Yep. So... So the Philadelphia, so the Philadelphia Eagles says, you know what, we need a kicker. They sign him off the practice squad to play for Philadelphia. The first week in the first week in the NFL, he kicks a 61 year, 61 yard game winner. For those of you watching this on live stream, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's this kid right here, Jake Elliott. He went to Lions Township, and he kicks a game winner for the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. The first. Week of the NFL becomes a local legend, 
and has a successful career, a lot of confidence, and now he's playing for the Philadelphia Eagles in the Super Bowl this Sunday, and he's a rookie. The kid's 22, 23 years old. So, the, yeah, so that, that, that's kind of a pretty cool story about being ready to as well, huh? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's kids, you know, about the, you know, the biggest <laughs> things today. That's, that's great. So as a, as a rookie kicker, so you guys are watching this, man. Much love out to Jake Elliott. Um, out West there Suburban right Silver now. Too. West Suburban Silver. Yep, West Suburban Silver Conference. Yep. Uh, I am the I, uh, ILHS system. Mm. So uh, going out there, man. So, so what do you think is going through his mind, man, being an NFL player too as well? What do you think is going through his head being in the – Today? Probably. Being in the ship game. Probably a little nerves. Of course, there's going to be nerves. But a kicker, you know, if I was to give him any advice, is just keep doing what he's been doing. Anybody, any position. Live in the moment. That's a dream, though. Yeah. I, th- I think Carson Wentz said when he kicked that first, uh, that game win the first week, he says he was challenging. He said, listen, if, if you kick the field goal and we win this game, I'm giving you my, uh, my $32,000 game check. I saw that. It was on. He was mic'd up when yeah. he said that. <laughs> and he made it. And he made a field goal. It was always ready, man. So, listen, now is, uh, is, is Kyle has shifted into becoming a filmmaker. Lorenzo, uh, same, to, same thing too as well. What, what, what advice would you give to somebody out there? That, that says, you know what, you need to be ready at all times. You know, you need to be ready. Well, if you stay ready, you won't never have to get ready, you know. It's just, you always prepare for any outcome. Uh, you know, like for me, it was, you got hit with some adversity. It's all about how you answer. You know, you can't stay down. And uh, if you always prepare, you know, whenever trials and tribulations come, you can always, you know, be ready and have... You know, tools and, and all that stuff in your arsenal to be prepared for it. Yep. Yeah, so that's, that's what it is. That's it, man. Well, cool. So as we wrap up this live stream, guys, who are you guys going for, man? Are you guys going for the uh, the Eagles? Or who's going for uh, who's going for the uh, who's going for the uh, New England Patriots? So Eva, what's going on? Ozzy, Ozzy Katzahan says, what up, K, K. Pratt? Ozzy. Uh, what up, Ozzy? Ozzy says, what up, Lozo? All right. Uh, I said, what up, MSG? Veronica says, what up, Matt, Kyle, and Lorenzo? What's going on, Veronica Garcia? Um, who else? You guys, uh, Monique Welsh says, you never know who you meet while networking. That's good stuff. I met this guy, networking. Um, uh, Lorenzo on live right here, baby. <laughs> Thanks for your comment, bro. Kenya Fram Power Networking. Uh, hi, Jojo. Hi there. Jennifer Jung says, hi, Matt, Lorenzo, and Kyle. Jennifer Jung. What's up, Jennifer. So, uh, George Octavio is watching. Vanessa Byers, big people in such a small world. Awesome story. So, Eagles. Eagles. So, who's that going for Eagles? Kimberly Ullman is going for the Eagles. Uh, Eva is going for the Patriots. By the way, m- much mad respect to... Uh, you, you said something. If you, stay, if you keep ready, you'll always be ready. Yeah. What do you feel about Tom Brady, man, being 40 years old, still playing this high level? Preparation. <sighs> the right team around him, that's all it is. That's all it is. Spice Box says, go Eagles. What was that, man? <laughs> I said he sold his soul. I mean, <laughs> he sold his soul. He sold his soul to keep his body in shape. Uh, Spice Man says, Eagles. Giovanni says, all about the Raiders. How do you, how do you think about the Raiders next year, man? That was, they had a good year, though. Yeah. But that's, that's it. I feel like that was... You think Marshawn's going to stay in the league for uh, another couple of years? He can't keep running like that and, and like still playing. Yeah. You think, you he doesn't change his running style. He yeah. takes too much of a beating. Yeah. Yeah. Raiders. Omi Jean Louis. Zach Passe. Naboule. We got some Haitians on here. Jay Enrique Rosado. Oh, yeah. Eagles. Uh, Giovanni Mondragon. Wendy Thompson says, Hi, guys. Devon Martin says, Pats. Uh, Izzy says, I got PHP all the way. <laughs> hey, by the way, spe- speaking of PHP, we got some pretty interesting things at our August convention at the Venetian. In August, we got this guy, Kevin Hart, man. Kevin Hart, how many guys are excited about Kevin Hart coming to our convention? Listen, guys, uh, let me tell you a little bit of a back job, man. Um, he moved his tour a few days just to do our convention at the Venetian in August, August 15th. If you guys would like to get information how to attend our convention in August, because tickets will sell out. If you guys want information how to attend our event and you want to be ready because opportunity is knocking, message me, send me a message, and uh, we'll make sure you get connected to see our convention and see Kevin Hart at our convention in August. Frankly, says I just have to say Kevin Hart. Sean David, go, gotta go for that guy that will become a goat today. 
Brady and Pat. Yep. Yeah, ready to go. He, he already go. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's ready to go. It's, instead of being the Michael Jordan of a sport, it's going to be like you're going to be the Tom Brady. Yeah. Are they going to change it? I and think now becomes so. a standard. Yeah. Tom Brady's now a standard of an. He's an icon. Yeah. It's, he about to get six. Yep. Yep. Six six championships. Guys. I don't know, man. We got to watch it first. I don't know. Let's we'll see, huh? <laughs> I don't know, man. Well, well, the game is on in an hour. Yeah. Game is on in an hour, guys. But uh, that being said, guys, thanks for tuning in. Always remember, be ready. What did you say about being ready? If you, hey, if you stay ready, you never have to get ready. If you stay ready, you never have to get ready. That's why we're grooming and coaching people to understand the rules of the money game. That's why we're grooming and coaching people to have how to be an entrepreneur, to identify an opportunity and how to evaluate and analyze an opportunity, whether to take it or say no. Because if you stay ready, you never have to get ready. Get ready. So, Amen. Zoom? Zoom, thanks for being part of this live stream, bro. Right, Kyle, right. my man. Ready, bro. Thanks for staying on with us here during this live stream. Make sure you like our page. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you like our YouTube page to get more videos and interesting conversations just like this. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Until we meet again. Continue to live smart. CGP Productions, baby. Until we meet again. Continue to live smart. Continue to love smart. And be money smart today.